clerk please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. What we see depends mainly on what we look for. Thank you very much for that thought. Would you please call the roll. There are 10 present. Okay, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from our first council meeting, Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to Mayor's announcements. Uh, you have a little uh, brochure on the South Point Enterprise campus on your desk. The uh, groundbreaking ceremony was held at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And um, Chad, uh, Dane Chekolinski, Joe Iberly from Rukert Milkey, Todd Wolf, and Daryl Hofflin and myself all made remarks. And I believe there's a video of that on the city uh, Twitter page. Um, next, Let's see, after decades of discussion on the future of City Hall, the Common Council on April 4th voted unanimously to renovate and improve the functionality of the City Hall building for the benefit of the public and city staff. The Building Use Committee recommended a plan to stay in the current building and implement a more efficient floor plan with new entrance plaza, off-street parking on the north facade of the building, new HVAC windows, elevator, <coughs> roof, flooring, tuck pointing will all be installed in the newly designed City Hall. The original City Hall was built and turned over to Sheboygan Mayor Otto Jorans and dedicated on January 27th of 1917. The building was built by the Emil Construction Company at a cost of $150,000. The City Hall renovation that will begin on June 1st will require all departments to move to alternate locations for the anticipated 16-month construction period. Two office locations have been secured to accommodate City Hall departments. The first location is the former Social Security Office, which is located on 9th Street just across from City Hall. The departments that provide the majority of contact with residents will be located in this building. The first departments will move to this location on Thursday, April 26th, and that will be the Planning and Development and Building Inspection Department and the Finance Department Payments Clerk. All the departments will be closed to the public on the day of their move. So they will, in this case, they'll be moving on Thursday and opening up again on Friday. The city clerk's office move will be taking place on April 7th. Now the second building that was secured uh, for city hall offices is the Sheboygan County Highway Transportation offices located on North 23rd Street next to the Sheboygan Police Department. The remaining offices in city hall on the second and third floors, human resources, purchasing, assessor, information technology, finance, city attorney's office, administrator's office, and mayor's office will move to the North 23rd Street building starting on May 29th through the 31st. And um, just a note on our council meetings, our first council meeting in April will be here in the chambers and uh, on April 21st, the second council meeting will be moving to the courthouse uh, for the council meetings to continue. The City Hall building will be turned over to Quash's construction on approximately June 1st for the construction to commence and we anticipate being able to move back into City Hall at the beginning of October of 2019. Mayor? Yes? I think you met me on some of those. Uh, the City Clerk's office will be moving when? May 7th. May 7th. I think you said April. April. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, moving on, uh, I have a proclamation delivered tonight. Whereas in 1872, the J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. And whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska. 
and whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and world, and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-giving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees are renewable resource, giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products. And whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. And whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. And whereas the city of Sheboygan is celebrating 40 years of being designated Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation, we are the longest running city in all of Wisconsin. Now therefore, I, Mike Vandersteen, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, to hereby proclaim April 27th as Arbor Day. Uh, in the city and I urge all residents to celebrate Arbor Day and support the efforts to protect our trees and woodlands. And Arbor Day will be celebrated uh, in Deland Park at 10 o'clock. Uh, we have a special program in conjunction with the, uh, the two Rotary Clubs, the Early Bird Rotary and the Sheboygan Rotary Clubs. And uh, they've made a pledge to plant a, a tree for every member of their club. So uh, it's, a, it's a great testament to uh, their mission and we appreciate their help with that project as we try to deal with the emerald ash borer infestation. And I'd also like to say congratulations to Ryan Sorensen uh, and the recent uh, uh, Coastal Group had their award ceremony as part of the, uh, the YP events this week and he was named one of the top young professionals of Sheboygan County. Congratulations, Ryan. Marcus Savaglio was also nominated uh, for the Volunteer of the Year Award. Congratulations, Marcus. Tonight we're here to approve the uh, committee appointments for the 2018-2019 council year and pursuant to section 272 of the municipal code, standing committee assignments are made by the mayor on April 17th and subject to confirmation by the full council on April 23rd. The code further states that the mayor's it's the mayor's responsibility to make assignments that will best serve the interests of the city of Sheboygan. To assist me in that process, I asked all of you to rank your committee preferences and I've made every effort to take those preferences into consideration in the standing committee appointments. These uh, are prepared tonight for your consideration and approval. Under municipal code, each older person shall be appointed to at least one committee but not more than two standing committees. In addition to the list of appointments for the standing committees, I've also shared the committee preferences spreadsheet with the rankings of all the older persons, and I'm pleased to report that all the older persons received their first choice in a committee assignment. Good thing you were diverse in your selections. There aren't as many choices as there were in previous years. The leadership selections along with the elections uh, that we had a week ago will position the city of Sheboygan for a successful 2018-2019 council year. With that, I move into confirmation of the mayor's appointments and to standing committees. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the confirmation, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. And next is confirmation of mayor's appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight.